I hope you had a happy Valentine's Day with your loved ones, your furry friends, your partners, your pets. Love is for everyone. And I wanted to show you what my Valentine gave me. Uh, he went with the plant-related theme. And some girls like to get roses, but he knows I love prickly things. So he went out, and it's not the easiest thing to do to find cacti around here this time of year. So he spent a lot of time looking for different varieties, and he was going for things that I didn't already have or that I had lost over the winter in the, with the mealybug situation. So I just wanted to show you this plant haul. And this is just something my friend Christina gave me a while back, but I thought it was perfect to have out for Valentine's Day. It's a little cacti offering free hugs. So that is so cute. It makes me smile every day. And I have over here I'll start with the Apuntia Johnson's Hybrid, Apuntia Quitensis. I hope you're, it's focusing so you can read that. But it's two beautiful paths with very dangerous prickles and spines there. And I'm really excited because it's already growing two new pads. And I think all of these little areas here are going to grow up into pads. So this is a very healthy plant. And I'm excited to have that. I love Apuntias. And that is definitely one I don't have. And then over here, I have the Ming Thing Cactus. And that is a beauty. That one really has such a sculptural shape and I just happen to love it. I really like symmetry in my plants and actually in life, but this is such an interesting sculptural plant and I love the dark green. So I'm excited to have that one. And I do have one of these, but they might live together in the same pot. I'm gonna to have to see if I wanna combine those. And then over here I have what's called a Cylindrica apuntia. Oh, Cylindro apuntia, mini cola. So I have, I have something similar, but I think this one might be a little bit different. We'll have to see how it grows up, but I love it when there's multiple cacti in a pot, and I just think that one is so beautiful. Obviously, I'm trying not to touch it. That's another beauty. This one I was particularly excited about because I think this might have been one that I lost to mealybugs. And this is the Mammillaria species. So I'm not sure which specifically this was, this is, but um, I did remove a little flower here, but it'll be just fine. But I was really excited because I lost one of my favorite cactus and um, I think this is a replacement. So that's a beauty. And then over here, I, there was a flower here. I'm gonna wait till it warms up to try to remove that. Um, it's never good to force things. Uh, I didn't wanna open up the cactus and have it dry out. But this is a gorgeous one that I don't have. And it's called a chin cactus, Gymnocolysium baldianum. So that's the name of that one. And I just love that. It's Again, it's a really dark green color, beautiful spination. And at some point I'll get that off and the growing point will be fine. But I'm really excited about that one. And I was very impressed that he was able to get so many different looking cacti. I mean, they're very, it's quite a variety. So I was really thrilled. I thought that was so thoughtful. And then over here, I have a balloon cactus, otherwise known as a Notocactus magnificus. And this one, this is the kind of cactus I like to pet. I know it sounds silly, but 
it is so fun to touch. It's just soft. It doesn't look soft, but it's actually a soft cactus, and it is a beautiful symmetrical plant. Just gorgeous. And then the last one he got me, I have already put into a dish garden, and that is this succulent. It's a, uh, called a ghost plant. And I forgot to bring the pot in here so I could tell you the actual name of it. But it's uh, something Haworthii. I'll have to look it up. But it's white. It's, it's actually so pale green that it looks white. And it's the perfect complement for this little dish garden because it's a different texture and different color. And I had lost a succulent there. So it was really something that I, I was going to replace. And I was thrilled to put it in there. And then the last thing I want to show you is from my friend Lori. And this is a gardening apron. And she's one of my nearest, dearest friends. And we actually met while we were gardening at our children's elementary school probably 25 years ago. So we've been friends a long time and she wanted to give me a gift for Valentine's Day. I thought that was so sweet. So it is a gardening apron with daffodils. And around here they're starting to kind of pop up out of the soil. So we are both very excited for spring, which is hopefully right around the corner. This is from Cafe Press, if anybody's interested in getting a garden apron or a gift for a gardener. But that one is really nice. And I garden every single day, no matter what I'm wearing. So I can always throw this on and keep my my daily clothes clean. So that was such a sweet gift. Thank you, Lori. And let me just sweep over these goodies again. I was very lucky to get them and I'm very lucky to have my Valentine. And like I said, I hope you had fun yesterday with your friends and loved ones and your pets and of course your plants. Because if you're watching this, I know you're a plant lover. So Valentine's Day is great for everybody, plant lovers, of course. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.